And welcome back everybody to the Terran Tutorial part number two. I'm Sean D. Apollo Clark bringing you the Terran information that you guys need to succeed on the ladder. If we just revert back to part one just for a second, we did manage to achieve um, a lot. We went over the settings, a lot. We went over the settings, of course. We then went into looking very briefly at what to do in each specific matchup. And what we're going to do today is carry on with that. We want to try and carry on to pick up wins here and there and really work on improving our game. There's going to be a lot of theories. By the way, I don't hear any sound, so I'm just going to put the sound back on over here. Oh, there we go. We do have sounds available for you guys. So, once again, we will be using very similar builds here on the ladder in the lower league, still in bronze league. Um, and it looks like our first game will be against Terran today, everybody. So, we'll hopefully be looking to squeeze out four, maybe five games since we've gone straight into it here. So, and our first game of the day, Terran versus Terran. We want to be using the same build as last time, which is going to be for that um, factory opening. And then depending on how things go, we want to may go mech, maybe bio. Maybe we'll try bio this time around, but the opening here is going to be the same. Where we go for a wall in and barracks, then refinery, and then try to go for a factory pretty fast here into tanks and then see how the game does develop on. Since we did go mech last time, I think we're going to go ahead for bio. So once again, we are waypointing the command center, and we're going to be building a supply depot here, of course. And we will be looking at some theories as well today. Shift clicking as well. Um, shift clicking is very important as a Terran player actually. Um, because it enables you to, even you can call it micro to units and do other things at the same time and multitask different units. For example, tanks can be shift clicked into siege mode. Um, drops can be waypointed all around the map and drop. Or actually come down and drop at the same time in your opponent's base. So. That we'll, we'll see if we can pull that in today. We will be scouting, of course. We don't want to lose. We almost nearly lost this is DTs in part number one. So we will be scouting nice and nearly here and going down. Um, we do want to be going for the refinery here on 13 supply. Or 14, sorry, just as we queue up the SCBs. And walling off anyway, even though usually I wouldn't, I feel it's safer to do so. Uh, just because of any marine all-ins or anything along those lines. If Very similar last time. If he doesn't harass your... Uh, SEV at the front, you don't need to pull off a one to actually prevent that. But more importantly, this is cross position two play map, Core Hill Compound. He has walled in already. As we can see here. So this could mean a variety of things. But we'll just uh, keep open minded about it. And we'll probably just leave a. Uh, this guy wants to go back in, so we're going to chase him. Chase him. Build a supply depot. Slam him against that wall. Maybe go in with him. Uh, yeah! Alright, so let's find out what's going on. Gas is pretty late here. As you can compare it to ours. It's okay, we just run around. And we want to be throwing down that factory basically as we get to 100 gas here, as you can see. And that's okay that we lose it, but we know that he's not teching up incredibly fast, so we can continue with moon production. And we just lift the wall up. So, as we talked about, our plan here is going for a tech lab on the factory into expanding pretty fast. Uh, and I feel that a tank will help you with marines as well. And that's already shift clicking. Look, shift clicking that marine. Watch the use of shift click. You can do that, by the way, with the barracks. Um, but yeah, with with tank and added on protection with marines, you're actually really safe against a lot of things. Um, we want to scan anyway around six minutes just to see, you know, what is he doing behind there? You know, is he gone for double gas or whatever? So he's teching up. But we will build the command center in the main. It's a very easy lift off. So we also want to focus on getting the supply depot down so we can build the tank pretty much straight away. Ooh, so we'll build that now. Cool down energy, and then our next one can be for a scan. Uh, we want to be grabbing the refinery shortly after this tank. Oh, we can't build the tank yet until the refinery until the supply depot is done. So we always get the refinery first, sorry, and just queue up another uh, SUV and marine, and then we'll get the tank next. And what we will do is get ready for that scan. We're at 20 energy, 30 energy. We'll land it right in the main. We can send up a follow-up scout, so send down an SUV to see if we can see if he's expanded or not. 
Uh, we will throw down another supply depot also, and then we'll be content with it from here. And we'll go into gas. Oops, misclick. Oh no, they're rolling. Alright, so, so far so good. And we'll be looking to expand shortly. We can already shift click the ESCV back, as you can see. That it goes straight back to work. We can queue up another tank straight away. And then we'll scan, and then we'll see what he's doing. Maybe throw down a starport in anticipation for anything. Um, very shortly in terms of banshees, one base tank pushes. We see a bunker, so it looks like he's going to be expanding. So we'll go in. Let's see what we see. Marines, expansion, starport factory, that's fine. So we immediately lift this up. We just orbital command first, and we immediately go down. So we can go down with our units, as we know he's not being aggressive at all. And we can lift our own up. So what we're going to be doing this time around is we're going to be playing bio. So our follow-up is going to be tech lab, so we can go straight into stim. You can get siege mode here as well. Another thing that we're going to be looking at is double tapping, double tapping command centers, you know, tabbing between both, uh, and then army. And so if we waypoint or click our army as one, and then our main base is five, you can tab between both, see? And it makes things really easy. But as we are expanding, we are playing bio, we throw down additional barracks. And we don't want to have another barracks. Like uh, adding on this is fine because we want to get stim still and we want to be able to build tanks. If you add on four barracks, well three extra barracks, uh, you would have been a little bit too low on uh, being able to build stuff. So we'll add on another one later, but for now this is a good number. We obviously want Bill and Ben to be building supply depots all game long. We don't want any supply box. We can move them down here and just build two. And we can send a single marine to the Zelnaga Tower. You know, there's no reason not to. We can see stuff coming to us and continue with our tank production. Uh, we want to be. We don't want to be scanning because we kind of know what he's doing anyway. He's gone tank marine. I mean uh, tank and Viking, but we don't know if it is bio or mech behind it. So that's going to be our next scan in just a few seconds time here. So we'll shift click these back. Build reactors, of course, because um, we are playing this bio style. So we'll scan now. So he's adding on another factory. He's playing. Uh, mech. So against mech, we expand early. So we'll throw down another expansion really fast. And what we're going to do is take an expansion with this marine. Oh, not an expansion, but his expansion with that marine. And we also want to be um, rector here and engineering base soon. So against mech, let me go into this. If you're playing against mech and you're playing this style now, is you want to be uh, being the guy that is expanding, is being greedy, is not building so much in units, um, because mech can't push you. And if it does push, then you can... Oh, what's this? Oh, that was unexpected. So, pull everything down. If he tries to get good shots, you can attack into them. And just spread out. And just go back to work. And then, that was a pretty good attack. I didn't expect that from him. So, that was surprising. But we didn't lose too much there. And now we just leave some units at the back and just continue to build units. So, that was a pretty good attack there by him. Uh, I don't want to put too many in. And we'll just leave some units back. But overall, as I was saying, is if we're playing against a guy that's gone mech or going mech, then that's fine. That we just want to be expanding faster, double engineering bay, and not focus on you know bringing too many units into play that early. But oh, we only left one marine. I guess that's pretty bad. Let's leave a tank as well, and the rest can be here. So we do didn't manage to get the um, his Zelnogatar as he was controlling it, but that's fine. We'll just leave a tank there. We want to be careful that he doesn't drop it at the back here as well, so we'll leave some units there. And we'll go now into our double upgrades. And we'll also expand. So we'll scan his natural now just to see, you know, is what kind of uh, army is at and so on by now. And you can also drop the uh, mech player too, because he has to cover his back a lot of the time. So what we'll do now is we'll lift up and we'll go uh, expand now. We'll add on those Bill and Ben supply depots. And let's scan and see what army he's got. So, okay, that's fine. So, you see, there's three tanks. Is he really going to push with three tanks? Nah. So, once again, these come in, but this time we have units. We do have stim also. So, this time we'll leave or build a turret just to prevent that happening and just leave some units at the back. So, a nice little harassment there by this guy. But, oh, he kills both of our SUVs, stopping our supply depots. Well, that was pretty cool. Armory can come down, ready to go straight into 2-2. And as we're expanding now down here, we can transfer a little bit and just spread some units down here also. Because obviously that's his form of harassment right now. So 
Let's add on additional barracks now because we've been greedy. We've got double engineering bay. We've got the third base. Now let's add this on. So we just spread our units around. We see he's still on two base, so that's good for us because we have a. Uh, we, we can even send a marine to the other side as well. And it looks like he's looking for a push now. So we get every unit that was uh, spread across to deal with any form of pushes. We have stim, and we run in and stim into that. Really, we don't want to let him siege up, so we get everything together. And we get ready to see run straight into him. So, because he's hitting a really nice little timing here, which is I don't think he's meaning to hit it, but he is, because this is right before we're adding on all our production, right? So if he sits there and holds the middle, that's fine. That's fine for us. Our guys are building them, and let's add on all these reactors now. Go to two two. We're at one one. And he looks like he's dropping, maybe? Yeah, he's dropping. So what we do is just waypoint all our marines there for now. And just add on supply depots and have our stuff waypointed there. And we'll still look to catch this guy, and I think he's coming for it now. So we'll siege up here. And yeah, so... This is fine so far. And there's that little drop so. That's good for us. So now that we clean that dropper, and now we've got the production really ramping up. So he may try to drop again. So what we're going to do is leave these marines down here. We're going to build additional turrets. But what we're going to do is we're ramping up the production. Oh, I left these guys here too. That was a little bit sloppy to leave that. But now we we've, we've had our greed. He's still on one base, uh, two base, right? So as long as we defend this and we don't get caught into an ugly of position, we're fine. So keep building stuff. And he's gonna unsiege and move forward a little bit now. So we're gonna set up a big, big flank. So let's just uh, keep the tanks going down. Oh no, our tanks can't come down. So let's bring these tanks down cool down all our mules and we're gonna go for a big little flank down here because even if he's killing a few barracks we, we, we've got more we can add on more barracks so I'm actually surprised by this guy I didn't think we'd actually run into a guy that knew kinda how to play but as 2-2 finishes we're gonna be pretty good but he's now killing our supply depots which is nice and he's going to have to come back to defend now, so we're going to catch these hinds, I think. Hmm. Things are going alright now. Let's try and take the sun out and we know where he is. Okay, so we're going to try and come in from different angles now. If we can just scan how much stuff he's got. He's not really got that much, so now we've been patient. We can run in and stim now, I think. So let's get these guys kind of close. Keep adding on stuff. Yeah, ready. So very patient. This is TVT, though. It's a very patient war. So we'll get all these guys ready to go in. And now as we're at 2 2, this stuff will melt down really, really fast, right? And we managed to crush that. So we'll set up a couple of tanks here. And what we're going to do now is drop him at the same time. Because I feel that he's obviously in you know, a pretty good position in terms of um, in terms of units. But he doesn't have a third base. So he just has a lot of marines. Um, but we're work I mean a lot of hellions. But we're working on 3-3. Three, three. We can add on more production. Which is here. We just need to add on more again. Yeah, so there's his army now. At least we know where his army is. And we'll leave like a marine down here or something. And we'll just grab these guys to come with our army again. So I should have really got a second barracks, uh, a second factory early. As you can see, I've queued up a lot. So what we're going to do now is just add on a third. And now we're going to drop him. Because he's not guarding his back. And his mech, you have to guard your back. What we're going to do now is we're going to start taking full advantage of this guy as he's going to run back to his main. His hinds are not upgraded, but we're going to siege up now on his third, which has not been taken yet. 
He's actually out of siege mode here, so. Hmm. This is a longer game. I didn't really think we'd be playing a long game here. Not enough minerals. See, this is the beauty of uh, of playing against somebody of the mech. If you just starve them, yeah, we can actually snipe this now. Yeah. Yeah. That was pretty good. So, just add the normal barracks. You got a lot of money. Add more barracks. We're upgraded to three three soon. Uh, you got three factories. One isn't hotkeyed. It's here. So we got three factories. So we just have all the hotkeys here. Six and seven. What hotkeyed there? And even though his two base quarters are a really awkward time, because right, we're being greedy, uh, and we kind of you know ran into that. But at the same time, this is fine. Now we've started to establish ourselves up. And what's you know he's building up a nice army. He hasn't expanded anywhere else. As long as we don't let him take a new base, this is this is good. What we do want to focus on is adding down even more barracks, right? Because we're maxed out. You add even more barracks, and they can be from rotors and so on. But we're we're going to set up this little position here, where we can try to keep them off the space and rebuild again. So as these new ones build, you add them into your hotkeys again. And we got a little flank. So there we go. We're at three three. You could even go battle cruisers now. Should we do battle cruisers? You like battle cruisers, right? Let's do battle cruisers. Oh no. Trying to look for an angle right now. Oh crap, he's coming. <laughs> ah, kills you. Thing is, we have to be careful about if he comes this way because we. I'm just gonna leave Marines there in case he tries to flank our economy. Um, and now is as this kind of advantage. Battle cruisers is fine. Problem is, I don't want to play a long game, but he's playing mech because <laughs> I want to be able to just. Uh, kill him and go to the next game. He's making it difficult. Alright. He hasn't got any upgrades so our stuff's gonna survive really cool. Battle cruisers! He's gonna lose the battle cruisers. Probably want to really upgrade uh, so we just build another one. Add on. Come Somebody, get me out of this mess. Oh, Vikings! Because that means our battle cruisers will be even stronger. Yeah, this you just got to keep him off these bases. So, like, if he can't take this base, then he can't expand, right? And so. We can even throw this away now, so what we're going to do is come in with a pincer. Because we want to be throwing these units away. So what we're going to do is we'll scan again. And we're going to lose a lot here, but we're going to replenish your battle cruisers. So this is going to be pretty ugly. I'm sorry, it's going to be ugly. But we're going to build battle cruisers, so. Alright. And all I did, I didn't even look at my army. I just went in. And I'm going to lose a lot, right? And now battle cruisers. So B B B B B. And then we'll uh, even though we lose medivacs as well, it doesn't matter too much. But his army is now tank count is down to that. So it's really, really low. And what we can do now is just go complete sky terran. Take complete advantage of the map. But yeah. This guy I'm pretty impressed with. He surprised me with his little two base push to be honest. That really did catch me at an awkward timing because we weren't really physically ready for it. But now we go battle cruisers and siege these tanks. We'll have these tanks. Oh, he's dropping us, so. Uh. Uh. Oh, I bought myself in. SV surrounds! <laughs> uh. And we'll just build Vikings from here now. That was funny. So 
So now he's established this base. That's good for him. But it looks like we're still one. It's just going to take time, but we need to get these units out. Otherwise, we're just going to die. And I do have uh, upgrades for my air now. So let's just upgrade air. Ta da! Ta da! Alright, he's coming from this side now, but the tanks will be there. He's gonna see the air and he's gonna be like, ah. Oh. Well, he saw the air already, so he's pushing now, actually. I'm just thinking, because his medivac went over everything, right? So. He already knows it. He knows it. He's probably sieging up here. Nope, coming for me. Okay. Alright. Shut this down and say GG, I guess. Zero zero upgrades, no air upgrades. Just wait for some more Vikings in case we do lose. Because it would be fun if we lost. Okay, it's coming. Alright, let's do it. Let's do it! Yeah, he's caught. Not enough power SCVs and unfortunately for our friend here, this is what happens against mech, I mean as you play mech if you know you're so far behind, but it took a long time because it's obviously a weird place to be in, but when he was sieged up here, if you remember, you just have to be patient, that, you know, you don't need to panic, you don't need to run in, just, you've got three bases, you don't need to run in and lose everything. Um, which is a what a lot of people do, and all I did was sit back, build up an army, and then flank it eventually, um, and then you know drop and so on. But yeah, siege up on his third, battle cruisers on his main, and yeah. That was an interesting game, and this guy really bronze league. He has to be silver, or at least silver. I mean, it's pretty nuts. I think he did okay. That, yeah, I'm just thinking in my head, I can just hear Total Biscuit saying, He's a Smurf, I hate Smurfs in this league! Uh, yeah, he could have been. Because he's got decent production as well. He could have been a Smurf. Alright, GG. No GG. He's probably angry losing to a Bronze Leaguer, I guess. Alright, let's have a quick look at this guy. What a league is he? Oh, Silver. Okay, cool. Whoa. Upgrades. Alright, let's go straight into the next game then. So, opened up with a, a kind of long game there, a 20 minute game maybe. So, we'll see how this goes. We can squeeze in more games for sure. Two, three more games hopefully, and hopefully no more TVTs. That's the problem. I knew it would come down to this. In the town tutorial, we just run into a bunch of TVTs, right? <laughs> oh well, that's the longest matchup in the game. Alright, Zerg on Taldrum Alter. We want to be going for just a regular Reactor Hellion Expo once again here. Scouting really early. And we'll see. Let's just say a good look, have fun. Learning T. So I hope you guys are uh, enjoying these Terran tutorials. Um, that first one was a bit longer than expected. But we'll see how the rest go now. And especially because he chose mech of all strategies to use. He chose mech. But yeah. When I play mech, we, we kill fast. When they play mech, they are slow. So we're going to supply depot and then like barracks, reactor, wall in on the top there, I suppose. Or you can even just wall in with supply depots and like supply depot, supply depot, the barracks here. Um, this is something I want to try and do against Zerg. We didn't really do it last time because we didn't really have a long enough game. Is you should be walling in every base with supply depots. So supply depot wall in here, supply depot wall in you know diagonally across here where the mouse dragged from, and then also supply depots over here because you've got to worry about counterattacks. We may not actually walk into any in this video or even the entire tutorial. Maybe when we get the platinum and so on. Yeah, maybe, but. They are very much so common at the higher level, of course. So, so we're just gonna follow this drone around. Maybe he'll just leave. I suppose he should. And on this map, we are just gonna go for a 17 refinery, and it looks like he is on the right hand side here. We'll go for a 17 refinery. We don't want to grab it early, and because we don't see a hatchery first, or we don't see it yet, we could deny it with a bunker and with an engineering bay. So he's taking gas and there's a spawner pool, cool. So we're just going to deny that expansion. And we'll take it on 17 of course. If he harasses, you know what to do, you pull down. He's not going to do it, so. 
Or is he? No, he's not. <laughs> okay. And we're in already. So we we'll sit here tight and go to the. Oh, it's actually. Yeah, that's fine. Into the orbital now. Put another marine. Probably you w don't really want to build a bunker or anything because he's gone for sp uh, speed and units so early. Is that he's just gonna have links making right now? He cancelled links maybe. It's weird. All right, so now the marines are out. Just get rid of that guy at the top right. There's a drone there. Maybe save this guy to scout again later, and we'll expand now too. So there's the drone, and we'll get the kill here. Kill steal. And into the expansion. So there's the expansion going down. Another SCV needed. Another Marine needed. And we'll go into the factory next, right next to this guy, very shortly. So build another SCV. Hotkey my command center up as well. I don't hotkey them together because I'm a Zerg player and I just refuse to do it. Because when I played Zerg from the Zerg tutorials, I waypointed all hatcheries differently and had queens as well. So. All right, let's go ahead now and throw this down. As we see the nice little timing it makes, and we'll also throw down some putty put too. We want to be, we don't really want to be poking out with uh, marines. The reason why at this level, I, a high level I definitely would do, but at this level I'm just going to play safe and play tight. So I'll keep them here, and we'll just go straight into the reactor. Because at the high level, I like to poke out and just pressure, because usually they build two, four lings, but at this league they could build any, right? So. I have no idea how many he's going to make. So, we can add on additional barracks soon. We'll just go into the bunker. We'll scout out if he's got a roach or a bailing nest with that SCV. And as we approach 300, we can basically go bam, bam. And then add on a little transfer. And then straight into the orbital. Into the bunker. And switch your route over with these guys. See a lot of links and a really early evolution chamber, so we will add on a tech lab anyway because we want stim and our first couple of hellions are coming down now as well. So he's gonna maybe poke at us. Looks like he's done a lot with a bailing nest and evolution chamber before expanding. I think that has just finished up, so we just gotta be a bit cautious here. But with a bunker and hellions, nothing really can go wrong. So we got, we'll get stim straight away. Let's see what we see. Yeah, we'll just chase these down. What you can do is run down, bring these guys out and help. If it goes for the SCV line, of course, you just double click an SCV, send to the natural, and just build this and just have these kill them. And then just send them straight back to work already, and you will clean it up. So. This is why we need to complete the wall off. So it's fine. So these guys can go back in the bunker now. And we'll just poke out. But that investment of his just you know killed a few SCVs but didn't do enough, really. So it was not not worth it at all. And right, now we can take the uh the the gas and a starport can be thrown down. And just keep adding on marines. As uh, we can maybe do some damage. Don't really want to throw these these hellions away. Spine crawler down. Two spine crawlers down. But this is fine. We can just deny creep tumors with this. So I'll switch up here now and just add on the starport, which I thought I did. I can get. Um, I thought I got stim too. Wow. A few mistakes here. Never mind. Um. Alright, so just keep adding on units, of course. And if he tries to run at you, just run away. And keep adding on stuff. Because his tech's really far behind. But he's got a lot of lings, he's got two spine crawlers. He won't be teching up really fast, so even though our medivacs went out on a good time, it, it doesn't matter that much. So there's Bill and Ben, of course, building our amazing double supply depots. And we'll build our two medivacs. And we're looking good. Hmm. So we'll scan his main. 
See, no tech, just slow bailings, only few, no extra gas, so even though he's got bailings, we're still going to do a, a lot of damage with our standard push here while expanding behind, so let's build more supply depots again, and let's push out with our units as our first medivac, and other one comes from here. And I really think we just kill him. And we can look at splitting a little bit here as well, so we'll build our new uh, command center, and we'll just push out. So, very, very easy play. Stim, almost done, but it doesn't matter that much. Two more supply depots again. Now we get supply blocked. And we'll, as we throw down this third uh, base now, we'll get double engineering bay and then straight into... Uh, straight into gases. So, we kind of wait for Stim. It's almost done. He's making a lot more bailings, so we'll just pull back now. You know, we'll leave a marine up here. He's got a lot of bailings now. It doesn't matter. We'll uh, take our double engineering bay instead. And we'll just return home. Because there's no need. He's got a lot of bailings now. You force him to build a lot of crap, so... Oh, this is fine. And now, because he is building bailings, this is the time where we take double gases and we throw down our extra factory now. Just ramp up the tank production really early. Uh, we can get combat shields as well and kill these rocks instead because we see now that his tech has been still nothing and I don't mind using scans a lot more in the lower leagues as well and now we'll just hotkey and add on these up and we'll transfer over shortly and now we've got the gas, we'll add on buff, buff upgrades and we've done, we're, we're fine for supply depots at the moment but we'll just get an extra upgrade and now let's transfer over with our command center. I'll keep adding on units, of course. And as soon as that's done, very marine heavy. Let's have a look. Oh, where he's just gone killing the rocks. So now let's lift up. Yeah, what upgrades? No, well, just plus one upgrades. Add on another, another tech lab, and uh, immediately over. So even not that many bailings, to be honest. So. Let's just transfer over and we just we don't even have siege mode I don't think at the moment so we'll show you guys how to deal with this. So you just pull boxes back and wherever the marine the bailings are you just pull them back, right? See? The thing is with bailings is they're good, but as long as they detonate onto a small amount of units, it doesn't matter, see? And they get healed up instantly, and now we're going to just go for a really big counterattack because he hasn't got a third base, and if he has, it's very late. We'll also throw down our added on production now as well because we've been upgrading. We can armory and just add on all these bags, and we'll kill his base, I think, now. See? Add on the production. No base yet? Wow, see, two base, so pretty easy. And we can start building that supply depot wall now as well, but we'll just stim in. He's got quite a few bailings here, so watch this. Look at that box, ready? That's how to split. Let's see if I can do it. Like pull back and then go left and right. Yeah, that's how to split, but not a really cost efficient one. We'll just return home, wait for our tanks. Like, don't want to show off too much. So we'll just sit here. But the thing is, because he hasn't got a base, we don't have to panic. Because what is he really doing here? You know, he's on two base. He won't have any money to tech up. We got tanks coming, and with tanks equals no bailings for for you guys. So I keep doing that. I do that a lot. Send you guys back to work on the natural. And let's grab gas on the natural as well. And now let's push out. So with your army always on one hotkey, and then. Um, your tanks on two. Uh oh, supply depot wall. So here we just have all the backs, and now we're just going to deploy. So into the gas you go. The walling can just extend all the way across. You can probably just spend the money on it now, and just add on this. You got your tanks. And you got two two being researched. Just scan, have a look. 
So let's siege up now. So you got your tanks on two. Siege up like two at a time, so it could be like this. And then you stim with one, and you focus fire bailings with two. So, and then you run back with your mar uh, your marines if he does lo launch at you. So if he comes at you, run back, target down the bailings with tanks. So I'm clicking two and clicking on tanks, right? And now as the bailings go, the marines come back into the fight, and you clean up everything else. Then you hit, you know, six A. Um, 7s for tanks and you just clean up and then obviously cool down mules on a base so on so on so on so on and that's how to look at your army control in this matchup so even though in, i wasn't really focused on just a stand up straight up win we looked a little bit more you know control of this army and bailey's just been morphed now i saw them go in so you can target them down and that's going to be gg with a nice little attack move to finish that off <laughs> target the bailey's now because they will kill you GG. Alright, I hope you liked that little uh, explanation there on how to control and how to split a little bit. Even though it is a little bit high level, it's still good to understand it, right? It's still good to know it and write it down so you can focus on that later. So let's go straight into another game now and be able to get a third game down. Maybe a fourth, we'll see how long this goes on, but that TVT slows the video down and I really can't, really can't make the video that long, but we'll see. So if you just enjoy yourselves, Spread the word. Tell everybody. And we've got a Protoss here. So we've had a bit of everything this uh, part. So that's kind of cool. So here, once again, we're going to be using that Marauder expansion build. Uh, but like I said, the weakness of it is definitely... It's it's very good all round. And it, and it has its strengths. But its really weakness would be Void Rays. Um, so you have to, have to, have to throw down the additional barracks fast. And you probably need to go straight into reactors and just pump it out Marines from there. Um, you know, you're going to get stim early, get combat shield straight away, and then you'll be fine. So, we will be walling in once again. So, waypoint your command center south and just go straight to that wall off. So, of course, walling in. Always useful in the low leagues, no reason not to at all. And we do complete the wall off. And then we go back. So, this is Antuned Valley, by the way. I really do like this map because it's got, well, as a, from a Terran and Protoss perspective, because it's got the easy rocks to take an easy third. Um, from a Zerg, I really do hate it because you can't really stop easily a Protoss or Terran taking a fast third. Uh, let's go out after the supply depot, of course, and pull a new guy down to build the barracks for us. Let's throw it here. It doesn't really matter if it's supply depot, barracks, supply depot, or supply depot, supply depot, barracks. doesn't really matter. So let's waypoint this guy down, and then let's grab the refinery. Pretty much uh, on 14. I don't want to squeeze it on 13. I prefer to just to keep SUV production consistent, and then squeeze it in just as uh, just now. So let's find out where our opponent is. Already hot keyed my barracks up to six, as that's what my personal preference is with that. And it may look fast. That's another thing: is double tapping. My APM is probably like 15. <laughs> no, it's really not, but you know, it's a little bit higher than that, but really easy. Double tap one, double tap three, double tap one, double tap three. Slow it down, double tap one, double tap three. You know, it's, it's, that's why sometimes the game may look faster for you, but in reality, it's pretty easy. And by the looks of that probe scout we just saw, I think he's in the bottom right, but we'll just scout anyway to the, to the bottom left. And then we'll go straight into the orbital command next. And the reason how I knew it was bottom right is because... The probe was here, and it, he wouldn't have really scouted that late. He would have scouted earlier on, so the probe was here and went to the bottom left first, then to the top left. And now oh, we want to be bringing this guy to the other side, really. And then Tet Lab back to work, so he can deny the probe scout which is coming. And let's see what our opponent is doing. So SCV and cooldown energy, and here he is. So. Cybercore, gas, no second gas, yeah, kill. So Chronobus in, he's got not that much Chronobus saved up, but it's okay. We'll just run away because the Stalker is being made now, so we just want to hide the STV, and we'll hide it probably down here by the third base. And then we can look to expand, so we can even move down to expand to be honest. We'll expand and then build a supply depot straight behind it, so. And then we'll build a supply depot now. Just get it in because we will get supply booked if we don't squeeze it in. 
and then we'll build another marauder and then we'll get stim straight away from this because you'll have just enough for, for another marauder and then stim when you get the minerals high look so strength to stim really really early some very good upgrades of course and then as the stalker should be outside now it finishes at 440 ish probably um, here with this uh, guy's build and then it will be maybe the Zelnaga Town maybe up here maybe on defensive stance here but maybe we can get in you know as the overall thing here and we want to be throwing down those extra he hasn't expanded so let's check what's going on we'll throw down the extra barracks down one two three three gate robo so very very strong possibility here of a uh, one base immortal push but not happening for a while let's hide the SCV again maybe around there and what we do want to do is uh, no more supply depots because we will be finishing this but straight into double reactor here on these uh, we will just bunker up on the, on here now and it looks like we have been found but we'll launch a scan down in about on about seven minutes so we can see has he expanded and if not then we're like alright cool one base something um, so yeah let's start the marine production a little bit now we transfer down we won't scan with this next one we'll scan with the one from the natural and we also we don't need an engineering bay I'm going to go for um, factory first here after the reactors because we don't need an engineering bay for upgrades we would prefer medivacs for repair so we'll throw down the refinery now and the factory here and we'll scan with that one won't we we'll set it on the rest of it and we'll scan okay so three gate robo then expanding behind so we were very much so far ahead in economy but we just n still need to be careful about our marauder push of course so let's go ahead and get our supply depots and into the gas and we also need another refinery to support the medivac production so maybe we can take the Zelnaga tower here and what we can do with the supply depots from now on is put them in front of the bunker just for extra padded protection so straight into the reactor and then the starport let's get these units pumping out so starport then into the gas on the natural guys as you need that one to support it as mentioned and then let's just make this supply depot a little wall here to aid us out a little bit and keep up that unit uh, SUV production of course Calling down those mules and just adding on maybe uh, go straight into combat shields now as well. There is an observer. You see it spotting up and walking into our main. That's fine. From here and out, if he hasn't built a models, he could be taken up pretty fast for Colossus as well, which is why we prefer the starport over the engineering bay, which is going to come down uh, now as well. So we are going to go ahead and switch over, and we want to put the engineering bay down for there isn't one immortal. But what we're going to look at is let me finish my sentence of the sentence is we want the engineering bay of course now to go into upgrades of course uh, we do want now to scan for his natural to see if he's taken the well scan his main we'll see if he's got the robotics bay down or not um, and then we can switch over into viking production very easily from here so no it looks like he's just sticking on immortals we'll just follow that to see if it does pop out with immortal I don't think he's teched up from here and what we'll do is we'll push out with our first couple of medivacs here for sure so Everything's looking good. We're producing a lot of units. We've got medivacs coming out now. We can even knock down the rocks before we leave to go expand also. So, just calculated reading. We'll push out with all three medivacs as combat shield does finish. Add on our extra units. Add on more supply depots. This is going to be a very nice push because we've got a better economy than him. So, and then we can build more medivacs and then maybe fall into vikings if need be from here but definitely pushing out now so let's go kill the rocks and then we can expand behind this and SCV count is at 16 in the main that's great let's waypoint it all down to the bottom and let's now push out so we want to be expanding behind this and then with the next bit of money we have like now we can add on extra production so we'll grab three SUVs and we just go bam, bam, and bam, and supply depots as well. Spend in your monies, and now let's push out to the middle. Keep adding on units, of course. And let's scan. I'm pretty sure that if he is taken up, then he won't be having uh, any costs out yet. Yeah, 
so he's double upgrades this is fine so he's got a good little army here but it's not upgraded yet and we do have three medivacs so we can do a lot of damage and we also have a lot of marines so what we do there is just run around and attack from behind the force field adding on more units kiting our units of course and as soon as the Zealot's dead, we obviously don't have enough to take on all of that, so we just go ahead and start adding on more units again, and maybe start thinking about our third base, which is now being built. So let's just leave a Marine there. I don't want to focus too much on drops for you guys, but we will focus on very heavy Marines, extra supply depots, of course, and just pumping out more medivacs, because he's not teching up, he's gone double forge. So he's not going up to Colossus at the moment. Let's leave a Marine on this side just to make sure he doesn't come around the back, but he shouldn't. And then just more units. Let's transfer a good amount over very shortly. Because he hasn't taken the third base yet. So, And we want to be actively scanning to see if he has added Colossus yet. No, just you know, double upgrades and more to play. You could go for Ghost here, which we are going to very shortly. As we get this third base up and running now. And it, as it is getting saturated, we added on the Ghost Academy. We also want plus one attack. Not and send these guys back to work and also hook up the, the additional barracks now so as you can see Terran very slow very calculated play you can build some supply depots to wall in here as well against process fine I'm just adding on stuff so switching between bases getting into that gas on the natural uh, adding on a second engineering bay and armory now as well we can throw it on over here maybe a couple more supply depots and then just shift click back as the Ghost Academy finishes, Mobius Not Reactor, and then just start pumping down money. Waypoint all our barracks, uh, all our command centers over there. We'll land another scan in a minute to see what he is doing. Still not doing anything. Upgrading again. He's at 1-1 one, one now. Upgrading 2-2. Two, two, still warping in units. So we're good for the moment. And as we start to produce ghosts, we'll look to push out. Let's get... Uh, a safety n extra uh, starport just in case he does tech over and we are unexpected about it so we can go straight into Vikings we also as the armory finishes want to be building um, plus one attack or researching plus one attack for sure we also want to be sending an SUV to check for his third base but we want to be getting that plus one attack ready for the ships because if he does switch over, he's going to switch over with like 3-3 three, three upgrades or whatever. And we're going to be like on nothing in terms of ship weapons. So we've added on extra production again. Our army's looking pretty strong. We'll add on a couple more medivacs. And we'll see if he's expanded to the third. I expect it definitely to be taken by now. So, and we'll just hotkey up the starports now as well. Because we will have to use them shortly. So, nothing. And as we go to 1-1, one, one, we can go into 2-2 two, two shortly hasn't he walled off okay so he's definitely walled off so he's definitely taking that base now so again walled off so what we're going to be doing now is just moving down so we're going to hit in our 1-1 one, one timing he should be looking to tech out now and the reason why we're hitting this timing is because as he takes the base here just a second look just a second taking it he gets extra gas right therefore he gets to tech up somewhere else so what we're going to do now is, we're at 200 supply basically, we're going to have a big fight and then we're going to mold towards what's best depending on what he has, whether that be ghosts, whether that be vikings or whatever. So we're going to stim up now and take a big fight. And a lot of zealots, we actually don't, there's no splash damage right? So we actually don't need to do anything there, we just attack move, come back, replenish with everything. And because he hasn't decided to go high tempo, hasn't decided to go um, storm, we don't need to switch to viking or ghosts. And we smash through very, very easy there. And we don't do anything. We just replenish with our barracks. And we're almost, you know, back at 200 supply again. And that's pretty bad for him to play this gateway only style against us. Because Marine Marauder will smash that down very easy. Even without upgrades, we're at 1 1. You know, he's at like 2 2 probably by now. So that was easy. And now we just run around, kill his third base, and just replenish. And we've got, you know, got more Medivacs building. We come in here, he's going to have to come down to defend it. You could doom drop at the same time, you know, like this. And as he comes to you, we can stim and attack. He's at 2 1, we must have cancelled plus 2 armor. And very easy. And Marine Marauders look in balance at this stage, but that's his problem for not having 
splash damage. You can't fight against Terran without splash damage. You know, that's one of the things we learned in the Protoss tutorial. We need to do one or the other. And now as we run in, we can drop in and, you know, it's adds GG. Alright guys, so very easy on, you know, not getting supply blocked, just focusing on mechanics, safe play, and just outplaying our opponent in the later stages. And it looks like this is going to be a GG for sure from this uh, individual. As we do hammer through everything of his. And he's probably thinking, Jesus man, Marine Marauders are in burr. Well, yeah. Let's go plus three attack, plus three armor. At this stage you can think about a new base because your main base is almost mined out. You know, cloak, whatever. Yeah. And I'm just sprinting down with this army just to smash through here. This guy's brave. There was a DT in the mix, apparently. <laughs> yeah, see? He's like, oh, Marine Marauder as well. Alright. Alright guys, let's let's try and squeeze in one more. Well, I don't think we can actually, looking at the time. We don't want to keep the video too long. But we played every race here today. And we looked at a lot of different things. And hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Once again, tell your friends. Hope you've enjoyed it. Um, and hopefully you guys are learning. Take your notes, rewind, watch it again. A lot of people did tell me that you did watch it multiple times. So thank you guys for watching. Um, I do hope that you have enjoyed the video. And I'll see you in part number three, which will be coming soon. So this has been D Apollo signing off.